Yeah, this is um, Dark Climb Studios. I'm at Baghdad Cemetery in Leander, Texas, where I'm making my first video of uh, sketching on location. So it's just something new I'm trying to see what happens. You know, maybe I'll make prints out of it or whatever. But uh, while I'm up here, let me take you around and show you the opening scene for the 1974 cult classic, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. All right, here we go. Right here is the headstone for the opening scene. It's still ex exactly the same as it was back then to me. And as we pull up, here's the little sketch I did. It's basically just uh, the headstone itself, but I honored Toby Hooper by putting his date of birth and when he died, just like on a regular tombstone. I thought it was a nice little twist. It was fun being up here sketching it and it already came with the makeshift table I don't know if that's sacrilegious or not to sit there and draw on on that but you know it it came in handy so there it is let's take a walk over here you know for a while I had a hard time figuring out like where the van came from as they pulled in and where that old guy was laying in the yard or the ground you know talking crazy but i did find something interesting this pickle headstone in the movie i managed to catch a glimpse of that where the van drove by so and that's the road you know, I don't think really a much has changed as far as the cemetery goes from 40 plus years ago. And if I was to guess, that pickle headstone was my marker I saw in the movie. And there's the road, and I'm sure this road was still here back in the day. So, and, and since the headstone was here this close to it um, and if you notice in the movie you got about right here from where you could see the pickle headstone when they were pulling in so they might have just filmed everything right in this little location right here you know because they were here for the opening scene just right here and the way the camera view was was about it was either i'm guessing it was right about here because you could see these headstones in the foreground and you can see the pickle headstone still back there and you can catch a glimpse of the van going behind that pickle headstone and as far as that guy that they passed laying in the ground that drunk old man um he would have probably had to been laying down there by the fence line in the road because if they seen filmed everything right about here i'm guessing you know they didn't venture too far off into the cemetery they just made everything right here because you know the budget wasn't that big so i doubt they had time to move around and stuff to film and i noticed in the background that old guy might have been laying somewhere down there because in the background you can catch a corner of a building and the only thing around here is this building right here i guess it's like the maintenance building and that's been here all these years as well so and you could catch a corner of it in the background of when he's laying on the ground so i'm guessing you know they just set up shop right in here you know the van came down this road pulled in up this dirt road and that's about it i mean it was fun being here it was a good time being here and uh i'll be doing more of these because there's plenty of these sites in Texas from where they filled the original movie. So 
I have to figure out my next location, but you know, we'll we'll figure that out. And I got to figure out what to sketch while I'm up there because some of the landmarkers aren't there anymore. But it's just a cool thing to be sketching while you're actually at the location. So, and look for more videos, and I will be doing more prints of my little mini adventures out and about. So, and what we'll do is I'll keep everybody posted for new videos and new uh, prints. And just remember, it's all in your mind.